Hello friends, my name is Iman and here is Iman Global YouTube channel. Please subscribe, comment and share this video. Thank you for supporting this channel. Iman Global YouTube channel. In this video, we aim to perform image generation by inputting various prompts into the text-to-image system powered by Adobe Firefly AI. Essentially, we seek to challenge the capabilities of the Firefly AI by having it create visual representations for us. Watch until the end of the video, as there are incredibly mesmerizing images awaiting you in the continuation of this video. To get started, we head to the Adobe website. We create a completely free account on the Adobe website, and then log in. After that, we'll have access to the diverse capabilities of Adobe Firefly AI. Recently, Adobe has offered the Firefly AI as a free and online service. This is the Adobe Firefly page, and you can see the capabilities of this artificial intelligence here. One of the features of Adobe Firefly AI is the text-to-image system. By clicking on the Generate option, we enter this system. Prompt number one. On the next page, we have a text box available to insert a prompt. I have prepared a prompt and will paste it into this text box. To see the result, I click on the Generate button. The images resulting from this prompt will be displayed on a new page. When we hover the mouse over each image, we'll see a free download option in the top section of the image. By clicking on any of the images, we can view it in a larger size. Let's take a moment to review these images. In the right panel, we have options for customizing the final output. For example, in the aspect ratio section, I set it to widescreen to make the images wider. Currently, Adobe Firefly offers four content types for creating images. Throughout this video, we will see the differences in their visualization by changing them. Next. I switch the content type to graphic to create visuals based on this method. After a few moments, we can see the output of this artificial intelligence with these changes applied. Let's view the new images with a larger size. Now, let's change other options to observe their effects on the final Firefly output. For instance, I choose the warm tone option in the color and tone section. In the following part, I select dramatic lighting and change the composition to a close-up view. Now, I change the content type to art. Let's see what impact these choices have on the output. The images created by Firefly with this prompt are truly mesmerizing. Next, I switch the aspect ratio from widescreen to landscape to observe its impact on the final output. The images generated by the text-to-image system with this prompt are genuinely artistic and astonishing. Prompt number two. I delete prompt number one and paste prompt number two. Now, I use the multiplication symbol to clear the previous settings. Finally, I click the Generate button to see the results of the new prompt. The images created with prompt number 2 by Adobe Firefly's artificial intelligence are incredibly dreamy and extraordinary. They have left me in awe. Now, I set the content type to Graphic to observe its effect on the images. The visuals have truly captivated me. Prompt number three. Next, I paste prompt number three into the text box and click on the Generate button. These prompts in Adobe Firefly are truly exceptional. I encourage you to test them out as well. Now, I switch the content type to art to visualize the images using this method. These images are genuinely beautiful and exceptionally artistic. Prompt number four. 
I proceed by pasting prompt number 4 into the text box and clicking the Generate button. The images generated from prompt number 4 in the Firefly AI are extraordinary and exciting. I encourage you to try them out as well. Now, I set the content type to graphic to see its impact on the final output. The images created by the text-to-image system are astonishing and visually appealing. Allow me to switch the content type to photo to view the results of the same prompt in the photo mode. I really like the new images. Now I click the refresh button to generate newer results. Adobe Firefly's artificial intelligence has fascinated me and translates these prompts well into images. Prompt number five. Prompt number five is different. I paste it into the text box and click on the generate button. This prompt is very imaginative and dreamy, but Adobe Firefly's artificial intelligence understands it accurately and the results of the text-to-image system are astonishing. Let's make some changes. I set the content type to photo. I select digital art for the style. Now let's see the new images. I delete the previous settings. This time, I set the content type to art. I set the aspect ratio to widescreen. I set the style to digital art in the style section. Now, I am very excited to see the new images. The execution of this prompt by Adobe Firefly's artificial intelligence was exceptional and left me amazed. Prompt number six. Prompt number 6 is unique. I clear the previous settings and paste the new prompt into the text box. I set the content type to art. I set the style to digital art. With this prompt, Adobe Firefly's artificial intelligence demonstrates its ability to execute various styles effectively. Now, I change the content type to graphic. I set lighting to dramatic lighting. The text-to-image mission is accomplished accurately, and it is truly astonishing. Now, I set the content type to photo. AI-driven image generation by Firefly is truly a marvel. I highly recommend that you also try out these prompts, especially since Firefly AI is now available for free and online. Which images did you like the most? Which prompt was better? If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please don't forget to like and comment. There are many more new tutorials coming soon. Please subscribe so you won't miss the next videos. I'll see you in the next video. Emma on Global YouTube Channel.